looks on YouTube. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make my logo. Uh, it's like, quick sec, like this one here, this blue one. This is VV and stuff. It's alright, I guess. It's not the best, but it'll serves its purpose. Right, first, this is in GIMP, by the way. You can do it in Photoshop, but today I'm just going to be doing GIMP. Um, I just thought they'd change. Okay, first you open GIMP. Word. Right, by the way, this is my new channel, uh, VV Win Help VV. Uh, please subscribe to it if you want to subscribe to comp tutorials or, or my old account, my G R I Z Z U Y Y sixty two one. Please subscribe to this one. Um. So yeah. Short time on. Oh no, wait a minute. Once is that one minute set? Click and put load. Okay, once it's loaded, it's file, new, and make it 500 by 500. But now, um, if you're going to use it in different things, put it onto check transparent, go to advanced options, fill with transparency, okay. Screen. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to get the eclipse tool, ellipse tool, I think. The ellipse tool, and drag it anywhere because you're going to be resizing it. Resize it to the full size of the box. It's uh, about right. Okay, once you've done that, you want to right click. You want to make sure you want to make sure that either your foreground or your background is white. Click edit, and then for me, uh, my white is my background, so whichever one's white. But no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, that was wrong. Then you want to go to your gradient. Don't fill anything or anything. Then depending on, I'm gonna go down to your blue gradient. Uh, it's called uh, deep sea, and drag it. Like that. Okay, now you want to make a new layer. Oh, sorry, I, oops, I did create it then. Make a new layer. Okay, then on this layer, you want to get the ellipse tool again, which make a, um, an ellipse. Um, and you're going to move it up to the top, like so, and make it so it, like, it fits to your top of your thing. So about right, this is only for tutorial purposes. It's gonna be really rough. Okay. Then you want to right click. Once you've done that, you want to click edit. Then you want to then 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 you want to fill in white. Mine's the background color, so white. Then on this layer, you want to turn the the um, the opacity down to about 25. And then all you need to do is just add your text. Add your text. Uh, whatever you want, I'm just gonna add VV, uh, whatever fonts and everything, something like that. Um, that font I'm gonna use is called, um, let's say it's called Technoid. I'll have a link to that in the description. Uh, I'm gonna have about that, and the color is your choice, but I'm gonna have it white. That's white. Then just move that to the center. Oops. Then that's pretty much it. So, uh, move your text to the center. Like so. And you're pretty much done. Uh, this is your final layer. It's really, really simple and easy. Uh, just a quick tutorial now on Jim. I probably will be posting more, more, um, more graphics like this. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and, bye. See you in my next video. Oh, by the way, when you save it, make sure you save it as a JPEG or PNG or a bitmap uh, so it uploads to YouTube. Alright, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe even. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.